Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I am back for another review video of food today. <laughs> food! <laughs> food! And I am so excited. I found these things at the grocery store when I was at the Meyer one night with my good Judy Tanya. And they are called Veggie Full Veggie Bowls and they're by Del Monte. And um, Del Monte, did I pronounce it right? Del Monte? So anyway, I'm really excited about this. Now, there were all there were five different kinds, I think, but I only have four because when I was at the register, here's the four that I have. Um, one of them fell out of the little side thing here and exploded all over the ground. So I didn't go back and get another one. The ones I have are tomato basil. And this one is carrots, red peppers, lentils, peas, and quinoa. Uh, quinoa in a tomato basil salt, or salt, sauce. I have no idea how to make these. The instructions are in the inside, so I'm gonna have to open these and show you in just a second. Then the next one I got is veggie bowl with quinoa and rice cal riced cauliflower. I can't pronounce any of these words. My Lord, I'm so out of breath. It's getting, they put me through it, just having to read these, okay. Uh, cauliflower, carrots, corn, green beans, and quinoa. And I used to call quinoa quinoa. quinoa. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Anyway, and a garlic and herb sauce. Mm, that one sounds really good, doesn't it? So it has like the sauce on top, and then it has the stuff down here. The bit, the bits. We call them those are the bits. <laughs> and then this one is veggie. Okay, brown rice and quinoa, Asian style soy sesame. That one sounds really good too. And then this one is a Southwest style corn, black beans, tomatoes, brown rice, and quinoa with jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno. I can't pronounce anything today. Jalapeno. Can I have some of those jalapenos over there? Jalapenos and roasted pepper sauce. And I'm, this one, they all sound really good to me. Oh, it includes a spork. Do you call it a spork or a foon? Okay, so let's try the garlic and herb first. So when you take it out, you get... I just lit that strawberry pound cake candle that I got from, oh, look at your little spork. <gasps> it's a foldable spork. So you get all this, and then you get this sauce on top of here. And let's open the instructions and see what it says. Hold on a second. It says, here's your ingredients. Right, I have to tell you guys, you would think these are real healthy. 200 grams of cal, they're between 200 and 240 grams of calories. Um, but then it's like eight grams of fat, 27 grams of carbs. I have to tell you this one is like 44, 37 grams of carbs and 44 grams of carbs, uh, 34 grams of carbs. And it's anywhere between five, seven, uh, six, and six grams of protein. And um, so anyway, sugar is 14, 10, six. I mean, I don't know that I think that they're super, super healthy, you know, especially if you're on a low carb diet, there's no way. Okay, so it says here on the inst in instructions, remove lids. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the lids. It just smells kind of like rice is what it smells like. I'm gonna get a fork. I guess I can mix it with my uh, spork, but I'm gonna use a regular fork to mix it. Okay, mix, enjoy cold. Oh, you can enjoy cold or heat. So you can eat them cold as well. So this is what you do. These are gonna be really like the bomb malicious, or they're gonna be disgusting. I have a feeling there's not going to be two ways about it. Which one is this one? Is this the Southwest? This is the garlic and herb. They all look exactly the same. This is what it looks like. Let me try it cold first. That's interesting. I don't love it. I need some water, hold on. It tastes like salad dressing. Okay. 
I don't love that. I'm gonna heat it up and see if that makes a difference. And while I'm heating that one up, I'm gonna make the Asian style soy sauce. Do you do the same way? Does this one say, enjoy cold or, yeah, okay. So this is what it looks like. I think these were like each like $2.49 or $2.99. They're very colorful, I will say that. I mean, I guess they wouldn't be bad if, if I leave it in there, it'll play again in a second. I guess it wouldn't be bad if like, this one has like peas and carrots and all kinds and, and corn and stuff. I guess it wouldn't be bad for like a little take to school kind of, not take to school, take to work kind of lunch or something. I mean, or take to school, I guess. Let's try it hot and see what I think. Here, I'll use the spork. Look at this little spork. Oh my God, look at how cool that is. I love it. Okay, let's try it hot and see if that changes anything. It's definitely better hot, but it kind of almost tastes like cream of wheat. With like vegetables in it. Yeah, it's much better hot. Let me try this one cold and see. I just don't think they're good cold. Mm. I don't, they remind me of something and I don't even know what they remind me of. This one is the tomato based. Oh, this one's the Southwest style corn. I think this was the one that I was most excited about. Because it kind of reminded me of the salad that I used to get back in the day. Here's what it looks like. Called an ensalada. Now, I will tell you that the sauce is like really red. Oh, shoot. It's really red for this one and looks like, almost like barbecue sauce. And it smells kind of hot like that too. I am making a mess of myself. Hold on, I'm coming. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen with Peter. Someone's in the kitchen, it's Tucker, yeah. He's like, I know, Dad, that I would, you just had your dinner, first of all. Okay, let's try the Southwest one. That tastes like a vegetable sloppy joe cold, not in a good way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I thought I was gonna love these and these are so horrible. We're gonna cook that one up and see what it does for us. Okay. If you're gonna have them, definitely have them warm. <laughs> Which are much better. Um, the soy sauce is the best of all of them so far. Okay, let's try this tomato basil. <laughs> I'm more excited about the fork than the sport than I am than anything else. So here's what it looks like inside. This is gonna be a mess to clean up here. Oh wait. Well, this is like really thick. Ooh. What a weird smell. I don't even know how to explain what that smell is. It smells like fish. These are weird and not in a good way. <laughs> I 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. There is something fishy about that. What is it? What is in there? Oh, something tastes like fish in there. Oh, God, that's horrible. Oh, I'm not, I'm not finishing that one. The tomato basil is nasty. That is so gross. Ugh. What is this one? The Southwest corn one? I heat it up. Let's taste this. You guys, these are all so bad. I mean, they are so bad. I literally, like, if I was forced to eat one of these, I guess I would do the, soy, the sesame one, the Asian one. What is it called? The Asian style soy sesame. If I had to do one, this is the one I would do. But you guys, these are so nasty. Like, do you know when you eat like a lean cuisine that's like freezer burned and then you're like afraid you're gonna get sick afterwards? Like that's what these remind me of. They're horrible. You guys, they are so bad. Uh, the idea is really cool, but it's just really bad. This is where like, I don't understand when brands do like focus groups and stuff like that, and then they so completely miss like the taste. Like, I, I just don't understand it. It's, here's my thumbnail. It's bad, you guys. It's, it's not good. Not good, so I'm forever on the look for more veggie little meals like this. But anyway, have you had these? I, some people will probably be like, oh, I like them. I don't. They're nasty. And I like quinoa. Like, I'm somebody that will go to Whole Foods and get, like, you know, quinoa uh, salad and whatever. Like, I like it. I like couscous. I like all that kind of stuff. Orzo salad. This is nasty. This is nasty. So, anyway. And it's the sauces that make it nasty, really. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.